Sheldon Dingwall here, and today we're going to talk about multi-scale and fan frets. Multi-scale guitars and basses are a relatively recent innovation. They date back to the late 1980s, where a luthier named Ralph Novak took the concept and applied it to guitars and basses. Multi-scale stringed instruments, however, that's not a new concept. That's been around for thousands of years. In fact, the ancient Egyptians had multi-scale harps 3,000 years before Christ. So back in the 1990s, I was getting a lot of requests for five-string bass guitars with good-sounding B-strings. Now, at that time, I didn't know a lot about bass guitars, but I'd been around pianos my entire life. In fact, I have vivid memories of being just a little tiny guy walking up to the piano and hitting that low B. Listen to that. It sounds amazing. A beautiful balance of bass, mids, and trebles, and the harmonics just have textures and layers that, that provide interest to the note. The problem bass players were faced with at the time was that the B string didn't sound anything like the other four strings. It didn't react like the other four strings either. You had to really modify your attack on the B string to keep from overdriving it. And the tone of the B string was, for the most part, pretty dull sounding. So I first started looking into piano design. And in the piano world, scale length is incredibly important to quality of tone. Concert grand pianos have incredibly long scale lengths because back in the day, a regular piano couldn't be heard clearly throughout the entire concert venue. And even today, it's still a real challenge for all the instruments to be heard clearly throughout the entire concert venue. It's a challenge for the instrument designer, it's a challenge for the PA designer, and it's a challenge for the front of house engineer. So the hallmark of any good acoustic instrument, doesn't matter whether it's guitar, bass, or piano, is to have a pleasing balance of lows, mids, and highs. Let's listen to that B string again. Listen to the layers and the textures in that note. You have lows, you have mids, you have highs. If you go up an octave, you still have that same relative balance, lows, mids, and highs. Up another octave, the balance is still there. So multi-scale provides an even balance all the way across the spectrum of lows, mids, and highs. You're not limited in any way. So the reason multi-scale instruments are able to sound so even across the board is because they've adjusted the scale length for each string to be at its ideal length. So there is no exact perfect scale length. It's more of like a window, a range of scale lengths that are ideal for any given pitch. Um, as you go longer in scale length, you're increasing tension of the string, you're emphasizing the highs, and you're de-emphasizing the lows. As you go shorter in scale length, you're reducing tension of the string, and you're emphasizing more of the lows and de-emphasizing the highs. And then right in the middle of that range is the sweet spot where you have an ideal tension, you have a nice mix of lows, mids, and highs. One of the problems of going with a shorter scale length is that the lower tension of the string is very pitch sensitive. So you have to compromise your technique and back off in your attack. Otherwise, you're going to raise the pitch of the string and knock it out of tune. And also, with all that low frequency content, you're lacking the clarity. And this is one of the problems with early five-string basses that everybody was trying to solve. The ultimate goal in applying multi-scale to guitars and basses is it allows you to have an extended range where the tone is even all the way across the range both across the strings and also up and down the neck as well. If the tension is equal across the strings, you don't have to compromise your technique. If the tone is even across the entire range of the instrument, you don't have to compensate with EQ. You can have a great tone on every single string, every single note. So thank you for watching this introduction. We have more great videos coming, and I hope you enjoy the whole series.